Dave from cheapbooks.com, uh, playing airline manager four. So in my last video, I was trying to route a plane out of Nui, which is a great hub. And I just found this place, Makur Makurdi. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to create the route. And I'm going to have to look at that. 70, okay, 7667 is not that great. But I'm going to have to probably adjust the layout. I need to increase this value right here. So I'm going to go to modify. And over here it says 8245 is okay. 216, That's that means I should bring it up to like 110, 120. And then this one is 328, which means I should bring it to like 180. It's not 180. It's 224. I'm going to bring the, bring this one up to 50. And then I'm going to bring this to 120. And then maybe 130. And... Uh, those numbers are better. I'm going to kick this up a little bit more. So I am going to uh, create this route. I'm sorry. That is adjusting the passengers. I'd already created the route. And uh, these aircraft are going to um, make the first flight when it's done with the maintenance, the modification. I have an aircraft that is parked in Lima, Peru. I'm going to try and do a route. This is cargo. So one of the issues you have with cargo is that there's no way to know if these lines are cargo or passenger. So it's okay to do one passenger and one cargo into the same city, but you don't want to do two cargo into the same city or two passenger into the same city because uh, they'll deplete the demand. I'm looking for a good number. This is a good number, but I don't like the uh, flight path that it's taking. It's taking kind of a high arch. I want it to go kind of direct through Africa. This is going to Kindao, so I'm going to redo it, and I am going to go parked here, international, go through Africa, and then we'll see if we can find Kindao, which unfortunately is probably not here, Chongying got good numbers. 17.9 is pretty good. 18 is a good number. 16. 17. 4. 17. 4. 18. 9. That's very good. I don't know if I've got another flight coming in here, but I'm going to take a chance with it. And uh, the distribution is not perfect for the cargo, but I'm going to go for it. So this is VTCT. And then I'm going to double check. You should really do it beforehand, but I got a ton of cash, so I don't care. It was called V. Is was it VTCT? I don't see any other VTCT. This has got to be it because it only had one flight yet. This was a, a new plane that never flew before. It's the only flight going in. It's going to make good money. 18.95. Not the best you can get. Like 19.2 is the best you can get. But that's really good. In fact, I could run a passenger flight on the same route. So we're going to look at Lima, Peru. Going to look at passenger flights. There's not that many passenger flights. There's only a few. Look for one with a low number. This is 19.4. It's the lowest one right here. 
78 is a good number, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Good place to get hubs is kind of in this area. Buenos Aires, Lima, Peru, um, Chile, maybe Bolivia. I do need to buy a new hub. Having a lot of hubs makes you more profit because you can get the best routes on every hub. Patasi, they're all 20 points. I don't have 20 points. I will soon. I will um, maybe tomorrow. Okay, so that's it for this video. It's just a regular gameplay video. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. Don't forget to check out my forum at cheapbooks.cc. Got tons of airline manager for content and videos.